big extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you, once you've actually got a, a gradient mesh, you create a gradient mesh in Illustrator via the Create Gradient Mesh. This was just a circle before. And the mesh is made up of, obviously, all these different nodes, vertical and horizontal nodes, and different colors. And I've actually used the Appearance Palette to add additional fills to create a fairly extreme colorful design. Probably be hard pushed to actually create a mesh in this style just without combining in the appearance pattern. But you can extend this even further by duplicating the mesh. So the next thing I'm going to do is hold the Alt key down. I'm just going to quickly duplicate the mesh. So I've got two meshes now. And I'm going to select both of those meshes. I'm just going to, I want to align them so they're on top of each other. And here's the first one. Now I can rotate this, of course. So I just rotate that around, but of course you don't see any difference. Key thing here is just going over here to the opacity. It's normal, and I'm just going to say lighten, so you can see different, or maybe difference. So straight away you can actually see you've got. A, and I'm just going to remove that appearance palette, which slightly confuses the issue. You've created a really unusual gradient mesh in a few seconds. I mean, maybe not particularly a mesh that you might want. This does actually have maybe a bit of trial and error to actually, and a bit of experimentation and creativity to actually develop the idea. And of course you can always recolor, say that top mesh, and I'm just gonna select that top mesh, and just gonna go there, and you can just run through, say recolor the artwork, and you can create pretty extreme colourful effects just with combining two gradient meshes. Now, of course, you don't have to stop there. You can actually just Alt key again, just create another one. Select all, just quickly align those. I'm just gonna go there, opacity, difference, multiply, and so on and so on. You can see that you can actually create alien worlds or very weird, unusual backgrounds for your designs in a few seconds. Well, fairly quickly anyway. Hope you found this tutorial of interest and that uh, you'll subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel, always adding new tutorials every couple of uh, days. Thank you much.